All right, welcome to 12 volt cooking. We've got our uh, Road Pro 12 volt portable stove. A lot of us call it lunchbox cooker because, as you can see, it looks just like a lunchbox. 12 volts, it plugs right into your cigarette lighter. It gets up to about 300 degrees, and uh, most things will cook in about an hour. Today, I've got a uh, I got an artichoke. I got a great big one. I meant to cook it for an hour and a quarter, but I stopped and I got on the phone and I forgot. So it actually cooked for an hour and a half and then it has sat in here still sealed up for another 15 minutes after, after it was unplugged. So let's see how it goes. Sometimes, oh, and I use an oven bag, as you can see, and I just put like about a quarter cup of water in the bottom. We'll see how it is. I have trouble with artichokes. I seem to, the first one I made it not quite cooked enough, but the artichoke itself was really super cold. And then the other times I've been using artichokes that are more room temperature. I don't refrigerate them. I just, I just carry them in the truck. And uh, I, would, I would go two hours and it was too much. So let's see how the stem is. Oh, this feels pretty good. I could probably bust that stem right off there. Yeah, see that leaf came right off. And that's the top. The, the bottom is going to probably be more. I, it's a pretty big artichoke. It barely fit in there. So I'm thinking, I don't know if you can see it, but look in the bottom. You see there's some brown. The bottom leaves, I'm afraid I'm going to drop it. Okay, maybe you can see right here. The bottom leaves just started to brown. It'll brown in the bag, in these oven bags. Now I always use the oven bag to throw the leaves in. And there we go. The leaves are coming off really good. The stem, it feels it feels really well done. But not so bad. I cooked one the other day for, oh gosh, it was uh, two hours and a quarter. And then I got hung up unhooking my trailer and stuff. I'm in a semi-truck. So it sat in there for another half an hour, and man, it, that stem just was was fall apart. I mean, I like it really tender, but also I barely put any water in there. Now most of it, even with a bag, it'll steam out, and there's no water left. I tried to just barely put a quarter cup of water in there. So anyway, this sucker is nice and hot, and uh, really well done. Just an artichoke, a big one. One hour and a half cooking. And, uh, well, first I put, I used one oven bag, quarter cup of water, put the artichoke in, close it up, plug it in a cigarette lighter for an hour and a half, and then I unplugged it and I let it set for another 15 minutes. That's why I can touch it. If you take it out right away, I've tried that, man, it's just boiling hot. So, hour and a half came out pretty good. That sucker's going to taste good. I'm going to have dinner. Okay, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, you know, where can you get an artichoke out here in a semi truck living on the road? Now, obviously, you got to get a grocery store somewhere, but I carry these in my truck. If you have a fridge, put them in the fridge. Um, our truck fridges are very small. These big artichokes, you're only going to fit one or two in there. But um, they'll go a day or so without refrigeration. And pretty good meal. Can't get in a truck stop, only costs a few bucks. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. Check our website, check our links, check our Facebook page. Because a lot of times we don't have videos, so we'll just put uh, photographs and stuff on there. Okay, thanks for watching 12 Volt Cooking. Our web website is 12voltcooking.com. And our Facebook page, 12V Cooking. Okay, thanks for watching.